Have you ever seen an all-in-one calculus question? If not, don't worry, don't feel left out because I got one for you. Check this out. Here we'll be differentiating a limit times a series divided by integral. And yes, I came up with this. So I think it's my responsibility to show you guys the solution. And if you are a calculus teacher, feel free to use this on your calculus test. But anyway, let's do this right here first. Okay, here we have the limit as h approaching zero. And in fact, this is just the definition of the derivative where the function is x plus the power. But whenever we're doing this kind of limit, we should really be doing it algebraically. So let's open that so we get x to the third power plus 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h to the third power. And then minus x to the third power and o divided by h. And we see this and that can cancel and then we can factor an h on the top. So this right here becomes the limit as h approaching zero factoring out an h and then we just have 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared and all divided by h and as you can see this and that can cancel and now we can just put a h right to be zero in here and here and we just don't have these two terms anymore so we just have 3x squared and of course this is correct because that's the derivative of x to the third power all right now for this right here Notice that the power is n plus 1, and the bottom is also n plus 1. So that should remind you, this is just the result after we integrate x to the nth power. So, let's take a look at the series as n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the nth power. This right here should remind you the best friend, meaning we get 1 over 1 minus x. And we know this right here will converge if x is in between of negative 1 and 1. And now, with this being said, let's go ahead and integrate both sides. And we see, to integrate this, let's just add 1 to the power and divide it by the new power, and we get exactly that. So here we have the series, as n goes from 0 to infinity, x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. And right here, integrating that, we get ln of the bottom, and we just need to use parentheses because we know x is in between of negative 1 and 1, so this is always going to be positive. So we have 1 minus x. But don't forget, we have to divide it by the derivative of this, which is a negative 1, so we just need to put a negative 1 right here. And technically, we should be putting down plus c right, after we integrate both sides. To figure out the c, we can just let x equal 0, and when we do that, this is just 0. When we put 0 to be x, this is negative ln 1, which is also 0, meaning that c is just equal to 0. So in fact, this is just equal to negative ln of 1 minus x. Great, now we have this integral. This is technically an improper integral because when we have ln 0, that's undefined. In fact, that's a vertical asymptote, but it's okay because this one converges. So let's figure that out. We have the integral going from 0 to x, ln t dt, integrating by parts, right? So put on the d and also the i, and then the plus or minus, differentiating ln t and integrating 1 in the t world. Do this, we get 1 over t. Do that, we get t. And ladies and gentlemen, this times this is the first part of the answer. We have t ln t, and then minus this times that and put that inside of a minus integral, and then we have 1 over t times t in the t world. And as you can see, this and that cancel, so we just have to integrate 1 in the t world. So we get t ln t minus t. Now, plug in, plug in, right? So let's go ahead and do that. And technically, this right here should be 0 plus, because we actually have to take the limit. But let's do this first. Plugging x, we get x ln x minus x, and this is the first part. Here's the deal. When we plug in 0 plus in here, we actually get 0 times ln 0 plus is negative infinity. So that's indeterminate. We will have to do more work for that. Yes, L'Hopital's rule. How can we not do a L'Hopital's if we say this is a all-in-one calculus question, right? So let me put that down right here. If we take the limit as t going to 0 plus, 
I'm going to put the t down down so we have ln t over 1 over t. When we do it like this, you see that on the top is negative infinity, on the bottom is plus infinity. That allows us to use uh, L'Hopital's rule. So let's go ahead and put down d dt, d dt, thanks to L'Hopital's rule. So here we are getting the limit as t going to 0 plus, and then on the top we get 1 over t, on the bottom we get negative 1 over t squared. And then to clean up the denominator, we can multiply the top one at the top by t squared, so that this and that cancel. So you see, it's just negative t. Put a 0 plus into t, we just get 0 with a negative, still 0, doesn't really matter. So when we put 0 plus in here, we legitimately get 0 because we did that already. So minus 0, and then, of course, we still have the minus and then 0 plus in here, this 0 in red, So which is just that. So ladies and gentlemen, this guy gives you this function, that's just x ln x minus x, which is really cool. Now, after we have figured out all the little parts, here is the DEO. We are going to just put on everything right here and then just differentiate. So we will be actually differentiating. This guy is just 3x squared, and that guy is just that. So we have negative ln of 1 minus x. And then of course the bottom is that guy, so let's go ahead and put that down. We divide it by x ln x, right? And then minus x, we can factor on x, so let's go ahead and do that. So x times ln x and then minus 1. And be really careful, the minus 1 is after the ln function. So if you would like, you can put down a parenthesis around the x. But usually, this right here is understood to be ln x first and then minus 1. But anyway, we see that we can do some cancellations. First off, this and that cancel. Secondly, thanks to this negative, we can use this negative to switch the order of the subtraction on the bottom. So in fact, this right here is just going to be differentiating. On the top, we have 3x and then times ln of 1 minus x. On the bottom, again, use this to switch the order of subtraction. We get 1 minus ln x. And see how pretty this is? Because here I have ln of 1 minus x, and this is inside of ln. But this is very different. So we cannot cancel things out. Why is this so pretty? Because if you really put this to be like a calculus test, yeah, we will just do the quotient rule and then the product rule and all the things. All right, here we go. Let's just go ahead and do it. I'm going to square the bottom first, and we are going to have a huge fraction bar right here. Hopefully this is long enough, I'm not sure but we will have 1 minus ln x, and then we square that. And here we go. The bottom function, we have 1 minus ln x times the top. But this is 3x times that, so we have to use the product rule. So let's go ahead and keep the first function, which is 3x, times the derivative of the second, which is 1 over the inside, times the derivative of the inside, which is going to be negative 1, so we have a negative 1 right here. And then we add the second function, which is ln of 1 minus x, times the derivative of the first, which is a 3. So that's the first part. And then for quotient rule, of course, we subtract the top function, which is 3x ln of 1 minus x. And we multiply by the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of this is just negative 1 over x. This is actually pretty good. At least we can cancel out this and that. And negative times negative is positive. But anyway, check this out. On the top, we have a complex fraction situation because of the 1 minus x, right? So what I will do is let's multiply the top and bottom by 1 minus x. So 1 minus x. Yeah. 
yeah, and then it's the entire top, so we have to do that. And uh, let's just go ahead and work this out. And I have to roll my sleeve because, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. We'll take this, multiply with that part. This and that cancel. Negative that, right? So we have negative 3x. And then I will just put it as parentheses 1 minus ln x. That will be the first part, and we are done for that. Next, we take this times that. This and that are very different, so we cannot do anything. Let me just put them together nicely. We have the plus 3 times that, which is 1 minus x, and then that, which is 1 minus ln x. And then this, which is ln of 1 minus x. Yeah, yeah, that, that's correct. And lastly, when we do this times that, negative, negative, that's plus 3. And uh, we have all these three parts, this, this, and that. Oh, so we can actually combine like terms on the top. You see? No, 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 no. Because this is only for the red parts, which we did that right here. And for this guy, it doesn't have that. So it's just this guy times that. So we have 3, and then we have the... Let's put that down first, which is 1 minus x. And then lastly, we have the ln of 1 minus x. Yeah. Yeah, so we don't have that. So unfortunately, they are different terms. Oh, I got excited a little bit earlier. Let me just double check because it will be bad if I make a mistake right now. And uh, I don't really think we can simplify anything. And uh, usually we clear the complex fraction, which we did. That's why we multiply the top and bottom by that. And then we distributed that. And uh, that's about all. Yeah, that's about all. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and divide it by that, which is 1 minus x times 1 minus ln x and then square. So, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the answer for that all in one calculus question. Woo. Yes. All oh, right, wow, very satisfying. What do you guys think? Do you find calculus interesting? If so, then I think you should check out Brilliant because I believe you will benefit a lot from them. Brilliant is an online learning platform with a big focus on interactive learning. This is from their Calculus in Nutshell course. This course uses visual and physical intuition to present the major topics of calculus, including limits, derivatives, integrals, and infinite series. You will walk away with a clear sense of what calculus is and what it can do. All of their courses are really fun because they will always keep you engaged by storytelling and beautiful animations. Besides calculus, they also have a lot of other classes for you to choose from, including number theory, discrete math, probabilities, and a lot more. So go ahead and take a look. And if you use the link in the description, blend.org slash blackpenrepen, then you can receive a 20% off discount. I want to thank Blaine for sponsoring this video, and I also want to thank you for checking them out. Let me just tell you guys how I designed this. I want to work with ln, and of course start with the integral of ln on the bottom, and I pick the derivative on the outside because we can always differentiate, right? And for this, of course, I want to come with an ln, so we have to integrate the best friend, and that's how we can come up with an ln function. I didn't want it to be too crazy, so that's why I didn't have, let's say, x3, 2, and none of that. And once we integrate the bottom, we know that we have the x and x right here, and I just want to have some small cancellations, so that's why I picked this, which is the derivative of x to the third power, and we have 3x squared after the result, right? And you see that we were able to cancel that out. And I think it works out pretty well. Let me know what you can see. Yeah.